Greetings and welcome to Studio G. My name is Maurice and I'm your host. Okay, before I get started in today's video, I just want to thank all my subscribers for the last three years. Uh, this channel has been through a lot. I had to delete about 600 videos and basically rebuild the channel from scratch. And so I just want to send a big thank you to all my loyal subscribers. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, today's video we're going to be covering some very important news that you need to know if you're on Social Security or if you're planning on receiving Social Security within the next year or so. So let's go ahead and jump inside my computer so we can take a look at this very important news. Okay, so now we're inside of my computer and I got this story. This was the first thing in my email this morning, so I wanted to share it with you. I can't read it to you verbatim, okay? But I just want to touch on the key points. So as you know, it's going to be four huge Social Security changes taking effect in January of 2023, okay? And be, hey, guys, be sure you watch this video to the end because I'm going to be covering different stuff. Okay, so... As you already know, okay, it's been the talk of the town that you're getting that 8.7% boost. So most of you already know about this. You also should have gotten a letter from the Social Security Administration. If you hadn't gotten your letter, you can log on to the ssa.gov website and see your information inside of there. So that's the number one change that's happening next year, 2023. Okay, number two, workers can earn more without seeing a benefit reduction. So as we know, many retired people like to keep working. And I think I'm going to be like that because I think if I just was to sit at home all day, I'd get bored. So if you're still working, you can earn more and you won't see any reduction in your benefits. Now, I'm not on Social Security, but, okay, here is the little chart that they put up. Okay, so the earnings limit if you're under full retirement age for this year, 2022, was 19560 and for next year, it'll be 21240 the earning limits, if you will reach your full retirement age this year, is $51,960. And for next year, it'll be $56,520. Okay. So that's a very good thing for people who still want to work and don't want to have their benefits reduced. Okay. Now, the next thing is the wage cap will increase substantially. Okay, so we already know that they have a cap, and I've been telling you this for a while, that when you make up to 147000 per year, anything above that, they don't tax on Social Security. Now, the plan was to make the number 400000 but what they did, they just increased it to 160000 per year, which it'll still bring in more money to the... Uh, Social Security so they can help pay you guys and future claimers. Okay, number four, work credits will be harder to earn. Okay, so this is not really great news, but it's the news you need to know if you're planning on retiring within the next year or so. So, and I'm gonna read a little bit of this to you. It says, workers are not eligible for Social Security immediately and to earn retirement benefits, you'll need to accumulate at least 40 work credits throughout your career. The maximum number of credits you can earn per year is four. And the value of each credit changes from year to year. In 2022, one credit is valued at $1,510. Start next year, the credits will be $1,640. This means workers will need to earn more to collect the credits they need for retirement. 
So this is kind of like a heads up to future retirees. And hopefully you take into account inflation when you're thinking about your retirement. So guys, I just want to bring this particular news story to you because I think it's important that you know stuff like this. Okay, and the next story I want to cover is Republicans want to push Social Security Medicare eligibility up to age 70. So we already know the average person retires when they're about 66. And it's recommended that you wait until you're 70 to retire to receive all of your benefits. Okay, but what the Republicans would like to do is to make this mandatory that you can't retire or receive Medicare until you're 70. So I want to ask you guys, what do you think about this? Now, you can find this particular story on CBS News. Let me just, okay. Yeah, you can find this on CBS News. I'm not going to read it to you. I just want to bring it to your attention because that's, I think it's important for you guys to always be able to keep up with what's going on. Okay, and so I want to tell you about the October CPI inflation numbers. So the reason why the CPI is important for people who receive federal benefits is because your federal benefits are tied to this number. So in October, that number was 7.7% increase over the last year and 0.4% increase over the prior month. So it didn't go as high as people expected. And I just want to read one little part to you so you'll under, make a, have a better understanding. And it says, while October's figures show inflammatory pressures remain elevated, some signs of cooling prices were present in the release. The index for used cars and trucks and medical care apparel and airline fare all declined. Meanwhile, shelter, which comprises nearly one third of basket for consumer price inflation contributed to over half of the monthly items increase. Prices on gasoline and food also continue to rise. This one paragraph right here sums it up. Everything is going down except for the stuff we need the most, which is food and gasoline. So I want to bring this to you guys' attention to make sure you understand what's going on as far as inflation and the numbers that's tied to your federal benefits. Okay, guys, I want to thank everyone who sent in a question. If you would like for me to answer your question right here on video, here are my credentials right here on screen. You can send it in an email, you can text it to me, or you can leave your comments in, leave your question in the comments below. Now, if I don't answer your question, it's not that I'm ignoring you, it's just that I get so many questions. Okay guys, again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey guys, real quick before you go, I want you to scroll down to the comments and you're gonna see this comment that I left. It's gonna say Amazon, EBT, and Snap Access. You're gonna click on this particular link and it's gonna bring you right over here to Amazon's EBT access point. And with Amazon access point, you can check your Snap balance right here online. They will, you can shop and get your groceries delivered or you can pick them up and you get a wide selection of fruits, vegetables, poultry and fish also dairy and pro products you also get a almost 50 percent off some of your groceries so it's a really good thing for snap users who may live in a food desert or there are not a lot of grocery stores in your area so don't forget scroll down to the bottom to the comment section of this video and click this link right here that says amazon thanks again guys and have a great day